Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another Hater video. Now, today's video, I have something you know, to show, something very like incredible, and that is called Branching Sickness. And this is a fan-made game, guys. It's literally fan-made. It's not even made by a AAA studio. It's literally a fan-made game. Like, you and I, you know, the, the people that love Halo, that love the franchise, they are making this game in Unreal Engine. I think it's Unreal Engine 5 or 4, but it looks amazing. You know, there's a lot of people who are talking about Oh man, if Halo goes to Unreal Engine, you know, it's not gonna it's not gonna look like Halo, it's not gonna be like Halo. It's gonna feel too generic because all the games have, you know, Unreal Engine. Uh, but honestly, this is like this is proof that it can still feel and look like Halo. I'm seeing like, it's not even just the, the gameplay, like you see the gameplay here and it looks amazing. Uh, but the main menu as well, like the GUI, like you see the you see the main menu, you see the lobby, uh, you see the settings. Uh, everything looks so simple. The UI, I love the UI. It looks, uh, it doesn't look too complicated. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't look like everything's in your face. So that's really, really nice. It look, it look, it's, I think they took inspirations from Halo Reach by the looks of it. The OG menu, uh, and, and and Halo Reach had a really good uh, main menu. Uh, and you look at the gameplay, like it just looks amazing, dude. Like this is what, what we wanted in Infinite, and we almost had it as well. Like it just, uh, they just didn't really go all in. I, I don't know, like the campaign I'm talking about. And this is horror, they're making this into a horror game as well. You're playing as a marine, you're gonna be fighting the flood. And it kind of like, like you see this here, right? Uh, again, you see the, uh, you see this gameplay, you you know, you're on the arm, you're in the um, armory and it looks, it looks horrifying, dude. It's like there's something that's about to pop out and, and I can't wait to see the flood. It's gonna, it's gonna feel so horrifying. It, this might be the scariest ha a Halo game. Like not even Halo Combat Evolve, like might not even come close. Cause I mean, Halo Combat Evolve had like, one scary mission which was t42 guilty spot i don't know if the library was that scary i think it was more just annoying but but this might be the scariest game like it could uh, compete against other horror uh, games like i don't know um dead space or something i think they they are taking inspirations from inspirations from dead space and it looks amazing like i can't even put it into words and and this is a and this is gonna become free to play and and for those who are asking will it be on xbox look i don't know it depends if Microsoft supports the project truly, which I'm still worried, which I'm worried about because they might look at this and they might feel jealous on 343 as well. Because you know this game won't like this game is gonna go, is gonna go free to play and everyone's gonna be playing this. You know a lot of like diehard Halo fans and they're gonna be playing this and uh, you know and if they might like if that Microsoft might not you know like that because you know they want their uh, fans you know playing in their games you know buying their games. And I, I just hope that uh, that doesn't become the case. I hope that Microsoft um, hires the hire these developers and let them continue working on this project. You know, like we've wanted this for a very long time, guys. Like I wanted this since like I don't know, since like ODST when we played ODST. You know, as a as an ODST guy, and and then we had uh, then we had Halo Reach. You know, and we wanted more spin-off games. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love playing as Master Chief, right? But come on, man, we've been playing him since two thousand and one. Like give the guy a break already, man. Like he's got he, he's got too many games. The guy even has his own TV show, even though they ruined him. But but I don't want to get to that. But like you know, uh, you know, I want to play more characters. I want to play as you know. In fact, not even the Orbiter. Like because we like I me, mean, we've already experienced playing as the Orbiter. I'll be honest. Like we already played him in Halo Two. You know, we played him in Halo Three. You know, if you're playing uh, you know co-op. But I want to play as a Marine. That'll be a to totally different experience. And if this game really succeeds, then. If it really succeeds, then we could likely maybe see a boot spin-off game. Maybe we could play as Tartarus or Eshram, like you guys name it. Like there's just so much potential for a spin-off game. Like, like this game, Branching Sickness. Imagine you playing as Sergeant Johnson or something. You know, I think in Halo Wars One, um, Sergeant Johnson. I think was he was very young at the time, wasn't he? I mean, not that young. I mean, it does take place. Uh, it does uh, take a few years before uh, Halo One, I think. I don't know how many years, but. But, but just imagine, just imagine like playing as Johnson in this game, it will be insane. Yeah, and I just can't wait dude, like, it, you know, we've been dreaming about this project for a very long time. You know, it's finally happening, just, uh, we're just so worried about what Microsoft will think about this project. You know, they might turn around and be like, hey, you know what? Me, look, I'm hoping that they will be like, you know what, let's just uh, support these guys. You know, we did our bit, we, we tried doing the microtransactions and, you know, nothing worked out. It pushed a lot of people away, it, you know, uh, a lot of people quit Halo. You know, Xbox has, you know, declined so badly, uh, you know, because of our decisions. They might they might say something like that, they might reflect on it. But I don't know, man, it's just that it's been way too long like, and they're still doing the same mistake over and over and over again. But it gets worse, like, every time, like, every time they, like, they come out with something and it just gets really bad. 
but I just hope you know this project succeeds. You know, um, this could be a massive um, turnaround if if uh, Microsoft does support them. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about the project, about this remote, about this fan made. I'm just shocked that it's actually fan made. It looks like something from like Bungie from 2007. You know, would would make right. Uh, it looks incredible. It, we, I feel like this game could give me the same vibes like from you know Aliens. <laughs> you know, playing as a Marine because um, in the movie called Aliens, you know, uh, the director that made um, James Cameron, uh, the one that made the first movie. I think it was the first movie or the second one. I think it was the second one, but they all go go to a planet, right? And there's that bunch of aliens and they have to fight and they have to rescue uh, a, a, that little girl, I think. Uh, I can't remember the full movie, but I remember it's, it's something like that and there's that like Marines. And it was, and that movie scared the shit out of me and it's such a masterpiece movie. But and, but it's also giving the same vibe here. I think the storyline is also about, yeah, the Marines need to survive. They need to go down and rescue an AI. So it's almost like the similar story to Aliens, actually. Uh, I just can't wait for that. I just can't wait for this game. It looks incredible. I hope you guys are excited. I hope you guys are pumped. Uh, if you guys are on PC, you know, uh, yeah, it would make sense for you guys to be excited about this. But for those that are on consoles, I do feel bad. Uh, you know, I don't know if this game, you know, would come onto console. But never say never. You know, if, if Microsoft truly supports it, man, then we're, um, then we're golden. Uh, we could see the, this game on, on Xbox. So don't lose hope yet. Let's just see what Microsoft says. Uh, hopefully they, uh, they'll hire these developers. But anyways, I'm going to stop, uh, you know, rambling because I'll keep going on forever. If you guys like this video, you know, do leave a like and, and leave a comment as well. Or let me know what you guys think about this uh, about this, about this fan main project. And uh, please do uh, follow me on Twitch. I do stream every day on Twitch. So go ahead and drop a follow. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.